Hey, what's up, everybody? This is my third time doing this review, so I'm gonna make it quick. Right here in front of you is LeBron James Space Jam 8. Okay. Um, what can I say about the shoe? I think the shoe is nice. I mean, for what it can do, is it is pretty cool. First of all, let me start with the insole before I forget. This is the insole of the shoe, okay? This orange patch that is stitched in has the word witness. And this is the reason why I have to start doing my reviews over and over again because it didn't dawn on me. I had to write it down just to realize it says witness. So there you have it. That's the reason why I'm doing my third review. So I'll make this quick. All right. Here it is, LeBron James, A Space Jam. Um, I think it's called The Legacy. But anyway, let's look at the, the style of the shoe. Based off of the model of the, the um, oh wow, what is it called? The the eight that LeBron James wore from Miami, when he first joined the Miami Heat. Uh, it'll come to me in a second, so I'm gonna continue on. As you can see right here on the lateral side, this has reflective panels that mimics like a computer chip, which is also outlined with orange accents around the swoosh, which has a gunmetal color on the inside, uh, all the way down around the back where the uh, pull tab is, uh, including the eyelets right here. As you can see how it comes off of that. Uh, the eyelets also have some yellow accents around the holes for more support. The rest of the eyelids are just basically holes inside the, you know, the panels to support the shoelace. Now the toe box itself is made out of some kind of suede material. I don't think it's suede itself. I think it's some kind of like uh, other type of fabric that mimics suede. And as you can see right here, I got some quality issues here where it's like a little faded here, here, and here. As you can see right here, the Nike swoosh is on the inside of the right shoe. On the left shoe, the Nike swoosh will be on the right, the left side, correct. As you see all the way on the other side, on the medial side, how this material goes all the way to this side and almost into the middle, which is also continue with the uh, the color pad, the color uh, panel here that reflects like a computer chip. And if you look here, you can also see around the ankle part, like where it says Space Jam, little computer green board. If anybody's in technology, you know what green board is, uh, like the little, uh, panels here. This part right here is an image of Bugs Bunny, which is cut off. Kind of sad. The shoe itself is wrapped around with fly wire. As you can see right here, it says the fly wire. Down the bottom here, uh, by the heel, it shows it in red, but then goes into this panel, which is all invisible to the background of the reflection. The whole bottom of the shoe, as far as the midsole, is wrapped in white. And it's also seated on top of a complete 360 air pot air bag, which supports LeBron James. Oh, did I fail to mention that this has Bugs Bunny on the right side? On the bottom of the shoe, as you can see, it's a very cloudy greenish type of insole. Now that is because it is a glow in the dark material. Um, which is also the lion's head is sitting in the middle of the shoe with these uh, pads right here to support your ankle. Um, on the shoelaces itself, one of the eyelets has eight on it. If you can see it pretty good, it go eight. And the other eyelet has, oh, aglet, I'm sorry, aglet has LeBron. Uh, on the tongue itself, the bottom part, the bottom half of the tongue is mesh, which is very padded. The top has Toon Squad, which is on a plastic type material. All right. On the inside, I just showed you the insole where it says Witness. Let's look at the back of the tongue. The back of the tongue has a label that explains it's engineered or designed and engineered by the, the specs of the player, which is LeBron James. Um, Right here around the ankle, it's a neoprene material, which is very padded. I mean, it's very, very padded. And if you can see right here, it has the Warner Brothers uh, stamping. And um, on the other side, it's really not, nothing much there. The pull tab itself is not very strong, but it's kind of flimsy. And you can see I'm having a hard time getting my finger in there to pull it. 
Uh, but other than that, it also had a reflective material right there. Let's look at the other shoe. The other shoe is identical to the to the to the right shoe, except for the difference is you have LeBron James on the back. Uh, nothing different here. You see LeBron James right there, and I think LeBron James might have been. Nope, he wasn't. He wasn't shown on that on the opposite shoe. But you can see right here, that's LeBron James right there. Nothing different with the shoelaces. Same de same details, everything. Witness on the inside. And like I say, this is reflective. Um, let me let me cut the light off real quick. I can show you what I'm talking about. If you look right here, you look right here, you pretty much can tell like it's almost starting to show the glow in the dark, but I'm gonna have this light right here. Let me do this. Let me turn this on. Okay. I'm gonna turn this on. And if you can see right now, it's already starting to show the glow in the dark, which is kind of cool. See how that, all right. Price tag. Price tag on LeBron James eight. $200. Shipping and taxes brought this up to about $220, $21, I can't remember exactly. But um, other than the fact that this has some quality issues, like I'm showing you right here, see that cloud like tech look right there and around here, here. I think it's a very clean, clean looking shoe. This is very light. It looks heavy, but it's light. So if anybody uh, ever says, oh my goodness, this looks so heavy and bulky. Yeah, it looks bulky, but it's very light. LeBron James 8 South Beach. That's what it mimics after. My fault. Um, other than that, I, I don't have the South Beach. So this is the closest thing to it. Um, I do like this shoe. And uh, while I'm on that subject, I would like to know how you feel about... Um, how you feel about this shoe okay and uh, if you can um, leave a comment below if you like my videos please subscribe on the right side right left right yeah down at the bottom and uh, let me know what you plan on picking up and if you like it this particular shoe I don't think you'd be disappointed so yep I'm gonna end this video on that and thank you very much for watching my videos. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I think uh, you won't be disappointed. Uh, I just got an indication that my battery's getting low, so I got to hurry up and do finish this video. So, yeah, I don't think you'll be disappointed. And it's a very clean colorway. When you get it in hand, it, it, like I say, it's really nice. I'm hoping one day I can get to South Beach so I could just say compare the two. But right now, I just got this, and I kind of like it. So yeah, if you can, do me a favor, leave a comment below, subscribe, and thumbs up. Just be uh, safe out there, y'all. Love and peace. Holla. Oh, for the 125 people that subscribe to my channel, thank you very much. Um, it shows that I'm doing something right. Uh, and um, I don't buy these just on the hype. I buy them because I'm a sneakerhead and I love sneakers. And every sneaker, in case nobody knows, the reason why I buy some of these shoes, yeah, some of them are very expensive, but I'm an artist. I like to draw, and a lot of these designs are based off of somebody's idea in arts, I mean, in drawing, and it shows what kind of creativity they have. So if you are a person that likes shoes, whether you collect them just to collect them or collect them to wear them, you know, just remember that somebody's idea was put down on paper to become reality. And that's what art is all about. And I think that's what this, why I like so much about some of these shoes I do put on my channel. So once again, thank you for watching my videos. Have a good one. Peace.